Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm hanging out in my kitchen because this is where I'm spending a lot more time recently. Um, I've definitely used the grill in here more in like the last two weeks than I have since we moved into this flat. Largely because cheese toasties are awesome and I'm just really beginning to appreciate them now. Um, but I am reminded of a time when I was growing up where I it was like one of the first times I think I was determined to do cooking on my own and I remember you know I, I locked myself away in the kitchen you know made sure my parents weren't in there because I wanted to make sure I was um you know I was going to do this cooking myself it was going to be brilliant because I was going to be me um and yeah the short version of the story is made a bit of a mess and ended up desperately trying to find excuses not for my parents not to come into the kitchen to see what mess I've made because I was determined to fix it and I didn't want anyone else to see um, but that story reminds me of a Bible story. I don't usually keep this in here, this is the magic of YouTube, but um, I'm going to jump to Mark chapter 2. Um, now it says, Once again Jesus went out beside the lake, and a large crowd were with him, and he began to teach them. And as he walked along, he saw Levi sitting in the tax collector's booth. And he said, Follow me. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his friends there. And when the teachers of the law saw this, uh, they asked his friends, why is he eating with these people? And on hearing this, Jesus said to them, it's not the healthy that need the doctor, but the sick. I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners. So you might be wondering what that, all the hate with tax collectors is. Well, back in the day when this is written, the way tax collectors made their money was basically they conned people and creamed extra off the top and that's how they made their money, which is why these guys were not popular and they were basically sort of professional con artists almost. Um, which is why it seems so outrageous that Jesus is hanging out and having dinner with them and chatting and being friends with them. But this is the great thing. You read this story, you realise these are the people that Jesus was determined to spend time with. The people that they knew they weren't perfect, everyone else knew they weren't perfect, and yet Jesus wanted to be seen hanging out with these guys because he cared about them. So I just want to um, remind you guys about that. You know, next time you're sat at home and frustrated because there was that thing I was definitely going to get done today and you haven't got it done, or there was that thing I definitely wasn't going to do today, which you've done anyway, or you know, whatever it is, you're frustrated because oh, I wish I had a better attitude about this, or I wish I was more creative or better at this whatever it is like whatever frustration it is Jesus still wants to hang out with you guys I know we have this like automatic reaction to try and hide and not let anyone in but that's exactly the situation Jesus wanted to come and share with you guys he wouldn't be with people like that who are less than perfect but it doesn't matter because he wants to spend time with you anyway so I hope that thought's helpful over like the next the next week or so so I'm just going to close it quick there and then hand it back over to everyone else. Dear Jesus, thank you for, even though we're not perfect, you still want to spend time with us, get to know us, and thank you that you're still there hanging out with us, even though we're all stuck in lockdown. Uh, I just pray you'd uh, really look after us all this week. Amen.